Russian figure skater Kamila Valiva spoke about how to cope with difficulties. Are there times when the desire to quit everything is brewing? Actually, yes, it happens. It seems to me that this is normal. But if you really love what you do, it goes away pretty quickly, because after a while you just have a craving to return to this business. Well, if this happened, you need to exhale, relax a little, understand that this is normal, and with renewed vigor return to the work that you love with all your heart. Personal impressions of Camila's performance at the Jubilee in the very place where her personal nightmare came from. In Sachi it would be easier for her. Pleasant memories of the stage of the International Grand Prix series are associated with this city almost unmistakable performances, world records. In St. Petersburg, there was a victory at the pre-Olympic championship of Russia with two flawless skates, and in terms of points in an arbitrary Camila outperformed even the winner of the men's tournament, Mark Kondratyuk. In the free skate, which she skated on December 25th, Camila herself at a press conference after the final of the Russian Grand Prix admitted that some fragments of that championship kept popping up in her memory. On the ice of Yubileni, Believe it became the Russian champion in jumping in December 2022, then she coped with all her toe loops. This still does not compare with the fact that Camila had to show a program about the Olympic tragedy in the very place where this tragedy originated. It was also nervous on the day of the short program. Before the performance, Camila talked with the coaches with a smile and seemed to be in a great mood. Already in the starting position, the skater began to breathe deeply in order to gather herself. It used to be that she started the skates much calmer. The triple axle didn't work out. After the short program, Camila appeared in the mixed zone and prepared to take the hit. To the very first question about the error on the axle, she answered confidently and firmly. Why insert the axle into the program? Why not? At the same time, it was noticeable to the naked eye how much she was nervous, how her eyes flickered and how she bit her lips. The tension eased a little when Camille began to talk about the support of the audience posters, headbands, toys the size of herself. In the free program, it was clear from the very beginning how nervous Camille was she was breathing heavily again, looking around the judges in front of her. It seemed that by the time of the Russian championship Camila got used to the program about the Olympics and gained sufficient self-confidence when she skated it. Worked through the injury. Even the detail with the HUD was played symbolically, he accidentally unfastened it. Camila did not have time for the music and showed with a gesture he is no longer needed, no longer need to hide. And now in St. Petersburg this nerve has returned both at the beginning and at the end of the program. It is difficult to say what Camila reacted to, almost crying. To her mistakes, to the memories that overwhelmed with renewed vigor, to everything together. The Jubilee test turned out to be difficult. Even without this doping case, Camila would still have a difficult season. She is in puberty, her body is changing, it is more difficult to restore jumps, young talented juniors with a cool set are stepping on their heels. The post-Olympic season of 16-year-old Alina Zagitova was very difficult, and 16-year-old Camila Valiva also bears on her shoulders the burden of proceedings, on which not only her personal fate depends, but also the fate of a huge number of people all the winners and prize winners of the team tournament at the Olympics. It is difficult to be neutral about Camila Valiva a huge number of people love her, and no less she falls with negativity. She became a symbol, a metaphor, she is remembered and known even by those who have never seen figure skating in their lives, simply because a year ago everyone followed the Olympic scandal. And until now, many people perceive her in the form of a victim, which, as they say, sells well in our country. But what if you look beyond him, look at the man himself. Extreme voltage level. Sometimes it turns into jokes, sometimes even very harsh ones. After being asked at a press conference what kind of forbidden girls want to afford at the end of the season, it was about food and restrictions, Camila laughed it off. And I already last season. After which she gave a serious answer. To some, such a joke may seem inappropriate, how can you be ironic about such a situation, what was she thinking about? I see this as an attempt to relieve some tension. I remember how I cried, looking at the girl on the ball, and now I watch every performance with a clenching heart, but for a completely different reason. The court is getting closer, the trial is in its final stage. I would like this uncertainty to be resolved as soon as possible. And the tension is over. 